Cats don't have a moral sense of right and wrong. On occasion, you may find your pet doing things that upset you. Perhaps your cat jumps on the counter, knocks things over, or scratches your household items. They may even steal food, chew on wires, or miss their litter box when going to the bathroom. And while you may be tempted to discipline your cat by hitting them, yelling at them, or spraying them with water, these forms of punishment will damage your relationship with your pet. Harsh discipline does not teach your cat to behave. It simply teaches them to be afraid of you. In this video, we will discuss how to tell your cats not to do something and how to help them understand when you don't approve of their behavior. Do cats understand when you say no? Cats don't understand human language. This means that cats don't understand the word no. However, they can be taught to understand that saying no means you want them to stop what they are doing. If your cat is performing a behavior that you want them to stop, say no firmly with strong body language. Remove them from the activity and move them onto something more preferable. Repeating this will help the cat get used to the sound, associating it with being told off. Make sure the sound of no carries some weight and identification. Highlight the displeasure in your voice by saying no firmly and authoritatively without shouting. As well as saying no, look the cat in the eye and hiss at them when you give the command. You might feel a bit silly doing this, but cats understand this noise and behavior and are more likely to realize that the word no has negative associations to their behavior. Body language also has a significant part to play in how well your cat grasps the command. Using your finger to point at your cat while saying no is an effective way to get your cat's attention. How do you stop bad behavior? Sometimes, saying the word no alone isn't enough to stop your cat from doing what they shouldn't be. Simply saying no won't make them fully understand what they are doing wrong, but rather just associate the behavior with you directly. In other words, your cat knows that when you are around, they shouldn't do the undesired behavior. But when you are not around, they will. Likewise, if you use a spray bottle to redirect a cat's bad behavior, they won't associate being sprayed with the bad behavior. They are likely to stop doing what they are doing by running away from being sprayed. Your cat will be afraid of you and your spray. But they won't learn that jumping on the counter or scratching the furniture is a bad thing. The key to successfully stopping undesirable behavior is to associate an unpleasant consequence with the undesirable behavior. For example, if you set up a motion-activated air spray that squirts air whenever your pet jumps on the counter, the cat will learn to associate jumping on the counter with something unpleasant. Keep in mind that the difference here is that you don't spray the cat. The counter does it. This is an effective no. Likewise, many cats don't like double-sided tape or aluminum foil because of the way they feel or sound under their paws. If your cat is scratching your furniture, a few strips of double-sided sticky tape will deter your pet and send them looking for another place to scratch. If your pet exhibits destructive behavior such as chewing, you can use taste deterrents. Products such as bitter apple or bitter lime are often recommended as they are pet safe and unpleasant enough to deter the behavior. What you should do before disciplining your cat Cats do not have malicious intent. They are not out to do bad things. Most times, what you see as your cat misbehaving is just them expressing their natural instincts as animals. If your cat scratches up your furniture, Ask yourself if they have access to enough cat scratching posts. Cats need to keep their claws sharp and exercise and stretch their muscles. Perhaps you should provide your feline with multiple scratching posts and encourage your pet to use those scratching posts using things such as catnip, treats, or a wand toy. If your cat is a big fan of running water out of a faucet and jumps on the counter to drink from the faucet, make sure there is running water in the form of fountains in your home. If your pet likes to sit on the counter, provide them with an elevated cat stand or cat tree in the kitchen area so they can observe while you are making the dinner. And remember, if your cat pees outside of their litter box, maybe it needs to be cleaned or that they don't like the type of litter. Peeing outside the designated places may also be a sign that your cat is suffering from a medical issue. Why don't cats listen? It's frustrating when your cat ignores your commands and proceeds to continue doing something you don't want them to do. 
Whereas cats are completely capable of understanding you and your request for them to get off the counter or to stop scratching the couch, many cats just don't care to listen or obey your command. Oftentimes, your cat refuses to obey your commands due to lack of the motivation and incentive. One of the best ways to train a cat is to offer up some rewards for good behavior. Those incentives, coupled with a lack of negative tactics such as yelling or using a spray bottle, will motivate your cat to do the right thing. If nothing positive is offered up, then your cat could simply lack the motivation to follow your commands. For example, you can encourage regular use of your cat's scratching post by rewarding her every time she uses it. She'll learn that the scratching post is pretty nice, and she gets treats as a reward for using it. Likewise, if you call your cat's name to come to you and they follow your direction, reward them with a treat so they walk towards you next time you call them. Rewarding Undesirable Behavior When disciplining a cat, one thing to avoid doing is rewarding the bad behavior with your attention. If your pet jumps on the counter and they get cuddles, food, or attention, they will probably keep doing it. But if nothing happens when your pet jumps on the counter, like no attention, no food, and no petting, they won't have a reason to continue jumping on the counter. On a similar note, if you give your cat a treat when they meow at you, you're teaching them that if they meow at you, they get a treat. If you don't reward their meowing, in other words, ignore them when they meow, they're unlikely to become a meower. If you really like a quiet cat, reward them when they're not meowing. Common Mistake When Scolding a Cat It is important to remember that scolding your cat long after any wrongdoing doesn't make any sense. Cats aren't able to associate something that has happened minutes or hours ago with the current punishment. If you come home and notice your cat has pooped on the floor and you scold your pet, your cat will have no idea why you are angry at them. What's worse is that scolding your feline for something that they are unaware of will lead to stress and fear. Instead, a timely response is key. If you catch your cat scratching on your furniture and quickly intervene, then they will get the message. Another common mistake is rubbing a cat's nose in their feces when they have a potty accident. It used to be a common practice during house training to rub a cat's nose in their poop when they have an accident. This can lead to stress and anxiety, as well as associated health problems. When is a physical reprimand acceptable? Physical disciplines are one of the least successful forms of punishment. Hitting a cat can lead to hand shyness, fear of the owner, and potential injury for both the owner and the cat. Depending on the problem, the cat will likely continue to perform the undesirable behavior in your absence. Physical punishment is generally ineffective, potentially dangerous, and likely to have a negative effect between the owner and pet. Now that you know more about disciplining your cat, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. How do you educate your cat? Does your pet listen to your commands? Share your own experience and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos.